Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I am going to show you something that should help you out a ridiculous amount in this video. Yes, my character is naked, but there is a point to that. I am going to show you <clears throat> how to kill a Titanosaur by yourself without any tames with no armor. It's an insanely easy strat. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. Now, just to give you a reason why you'd want to do this, a level, just a perfect level 150 if you're playing on non-official servers, a 150 Titanosaur will give you 1.3 million experience points. No, that's not a joke. That's actually what it is. 1.3 million. A level one will still give you over 100,000 on one times. Now, you can see this one's a 150, just to prove a point, right? They all have 230,000 health. That's that's what they have. So what you're going to need for the strategy is a grappling hook, some enduro, I mean, uh, yeah, enduro, um, and then you're also going to need a sword. And that's it. That's all we're going to use. Now, we're going to essentially just get our way up this by using the grappling hook. And then once you grapple to it, you're going to go ahead and use the spacebar command in order to actually jump up even higher. Now... If you kind of get stuck and it doesn't let you jump, sometimes it'll cause that to happen. Um, you can see that I'm kind of moving my way up this thing. So as soon as you've gotten on top of it, we are going to aim to get above the right foot. See these kind of like little spines right here? We're going to stay inside of these. Now, the reason that we're going to do this is because he is going to be unable to hit us in this location. You see, I've got some examples right there and you're just going to swing. So watch, he's going to try and swing. He can't actually hit you from this location, which is why it's so great and you can just swing away it's kind of crazy right so i'm gonna sit here i mean i can take my time all i want i've got this much experience let's just go ahead and see if i so there we go right 74 million experience points um i don't think it's gonna actually change anything but all you have to do is keep swinging now obviously the better sword you have the better off you are this is a 300 percent sword for official purposes so it's a 300 percent sword and uh, that's it that's all you need you can do this naked it's almost hilarious right now all of my points are split into melee you technically don't have to because this thing can't actually do anything the biggest risk you're going to have is when it starts moving if it like runs into something and glitches you off through the terrain so try and keep it still um, you can see that it's starting to walk away with me on it but as long as i'm just not moving or anything like that we're going to be able to get this done now you cannot re-grapple to any tame when they turn red so just to tell you that right so there we go. There's a 150. He's dead. The most damage that I took was falling from actually killing the thing. Kind of funny how that works, right? Because, yeah, kind of. Wait, Piranha, you're more dangerous than a Titanosaur. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, so that is how you do it. It's really simple. I'm going to go ahead and show you one last time just so you can actually see what I'm doing, right? So there's my health back. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a level. Let's just do a level one just to show you that there's no difference in the health, right? Um, if you get stomped on by this thing, by the way, it will kill you. So avoid that. You can see they all have 230,000 health. This is a max level technically. Oh, I thought that would hit. Um, and then you can see that we're just going to grapple our way up. And then once we get close enough with this grapple, we should be at the grapple point there. We're going to go ahead and grapple the rest of the way up here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try. There we go. Okay, cool. So see how again we're above that right leg. We're going to go ahead, crouch down, and swing. He's going to try and hit us, but he literally can't. So you can see that he's damaging the structure beneath us, but because we're above that hitbox, there's nothing that this thing can do. He's just going to sit there and do damage to four foundations beneath him, but he can't damage above him because he doesn't have the ability to. And that's it. Isn't that crazy? Now, is, now that, let me back up a quick second here if you move you will fall off the titanosaur so do not move stay completely still if you do not stay completely still it's going to basically knock you off and uh, that's just how when you're on top of a tame like this that's how it works so because it's got a non-aoe attack that's why we're able to abuse this mechanic and then again just to give you the stats a hundred thousand experience points for a level one and 1.3 million experience points for a level 150 now this is on one times multiplier. So if you get it on a multiplier weekend, let's say you get like level five on a multiplier weekend where you're going to get like in such an insane amount of uh, experience that it's almost hilarious. So you should always, whenever you see one of these things, just do this strategy like I'm doing right now. And you can see that I've downed how many on the beach now? One, two, three. They're all over the place. It's like a freaking Titanosaur graveyard. It's almost funny. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smack that like button and leave a comment below. All right. Teach.